My parents are Adams and Sarah Mutonga, and they are currently leading the work in Tanzania. When I'm leading this country, I'm really seeing that, that, that God is enabling me to enable the Tanzanians to lead their own country, you know, within a short time. Being in Tanzania um, has been one of the most um, growing experience for my faith. And I feel God has given us favor. God has given us favor among the Tanzanians. And as they lead the work in Tanzania, they are trusting God that he will raise up Tanzanians who will take on the work. And then after, it's, after the work is in the hands of the Tanzanians, it will be able to move around freely because this is their land. In the early years, you know, we would visit with the Mutongas and we just talked about life. We, we wanted to just see what it was like to walk with them as they settled down into marriage, they started to have children, they were facing the kind of issue that any teacher in a high school situation faces. Uncle Mutua has been there for my dad during different seasons in life. So when he was a student, he was like a father to him and he was there for him at his wedding and he was his best man and he, then he had children and he was there for him. So I'd say Uncle Muto has walked alongside dad through every season of life and has been relevant to him. Mm, it's like I felt still the care, you know, the kind of being taken care of, that there was concern for me as a person. It didn't matter whatever God took me. But for me, the most significant thing is that she cared enough to come and even check on me, just how I was doing. We would travel to, to see them wherever they went. And they went to, they lived in some rather remote places. Some of the areas where I had been posted, you know, were difficult to act to access. Like um, the northeastern Kenya, where it was a hardship area, where people had to go, being guarded by the police, by armed uh, policemen, Mutua came there to come and encourage me when I was there. They came and saw what we were involved in, in life and ministry, and that really gave us the confidence, gave me the confidence to continue. Mutua did not give up on me, but he just, you know, just came to where I was. He loved me, he took care of me, he counseled me, and he was just there. There's a difference between people telling you that they are with you, but they don't have time to actually come and be with you on the ground, because you discover certain things when you're on the ground with people. That it so appreciates even things that I don't consider important. And you'll be able to tell us, I really thank God for this. God is at work in your life. You see them in their local context. You see the price they are paying. You see uh, the impact they're having. Sometimes they may not even see that themselves. And sometimes just by drawing out for them, you know, helping them to see, look what there is here, look what God is doing. I feel like um, this example that is given about the shepherd, when one sheep gets lost, you know, the, the shepherd leaves it to go over wherever, to go and kind of go and find that sheep. And I feel like um, Mutua modeled that. You know, he would come and find me deep in the interior of a particular place. And so that really affirmed me that I was more important than his, uh, than his comfort. There is, of course, a sacrifice element in all of this because sometimes I wish I could travel with Stephanie and do this with her on the field. And just, um, you know, she's doing the right thing. She's uh, home with the children. You know, she was willing to give up even her career to just make sure that the home front was well taken care of. With the children, as, 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 a te as they became teenagers, and he was traveling, I know it was hard on him as well, not just hard on us. Um, I think we learned from an early age, yeah, dad has to go on these trips, he has to go. Instead of taking away from what we know about dad, I think it gave value to what the gospel is, because now we know the importance of, you know, going out and reaching to other nations. Uncle Mutua invested in dad so that dad could invest in other people. And I just see Christ's handiwork in the whole thing. It's, it's beautiful. When he would come and see me, 
and kind of strengthen, strengthen me, then I'll be able to take the gospel where he himself he could not reach and where the government had kind of sent me by God's design. I remember even when I was far away, the help that I received from Mutonga was of very much important. That has helped me even to, to be in Christ even to this day. With Uncle Mutua, I see he is traveling around to see the people whom he mentors and disciples. And I remember Paul did that. Mutua's life and Paul's life, they have got something common where he would go strengthening the churches in the New Testament. Mutua would come strengthening the people that he was helping, you know, wherever they were. I mean, if you think of Paul, when he first went out Ephesus or Galatia, they hadn't heard the gospel, but then later on, they didn't know how to run the church. And then later on, they didn't know about, you know, the leadership, how, how should the leader be, look like. Uh, Paul in the Bible could have continue to plant churches wherever he went. But at some point he chose to focus on those that he had led to faith in the different cities and come alongside them. Our relationship has spanned 28 years. Seeing somebody modeling Christ-likeness, you know, working with God and working with us, you know, as a couple. So I thank God for that. I think of all the joy it is to be where God is working, to be out there with people, and to actually, in some ways, be a, a partner with them in what God is doing. It is a privilege. Because all of us have been called to some ministry or other, little or large, to always go back, like Paul, and visit and I just feel that's a very big challenge because often I think we wait for the big leaders to go do that but the little people we should do that too <laughs> <laughs>